Hello, this is Mark from I Am Energy Organic, and welcome to part four, Back to Eden versus Fall Leaves. And in this episode, we're going to be fixing a major problem with Back to Eden gardening and also fall leaves. In nature, there is very little places that is just layers of wood chips or leaves in the ground without any living root that's in there. We have to fix that by increasing a living root or adding it to it so we have the benefits of mycorrhizal fungi. We wish to get that living root established prior to planting our other crops of our vegetables so we can have that beneficial uh, mycorrhizal fungi available to the plants so they can be as healthy as possibly as can be in nature. We're looking at the wood chips which are 50 feet wide and 300 feet long. We're going to have five rows uh, basically spaced about uh, 10 feet apart. Now I have gone out there prior to this with a rototill and just scraped over the top a little bit, not hitting just about maybe half inch to make it uh, visible so I can run the tractor down the row so I have a guidelines for it. So I want to move the wood chips away to get down to the soil because I want to plant into the soil a living cover crop. And we're going to be doing that by with this furrower on the back of the tractor. It's hooked up to a three point hitch. You can see a little bit better on this angle how it kind of uh, angles out on both sides and there's a point in the front. This way you can see the point of it. Also too, when I go to separate the wood chips, just like where it's sitting on the ground now on top of the gravel, I will not be uh, pushing it into the dirt. It will just be skimming along the top. I don't think I'll even go down that far to even touch the dirt. I just want to get some of the majority of the wood chips out of the way. And if I have to, I can always go back with a rake and remove the final ones to get down to the dirt. Okay, we're going to separate the wood chips and get a nice little row going. That worked pretty well. You can see it did a nice job. Um, the thing is it has built up pretty much wood chips on both sides like it should. I wish to get them away a little bit further so it doesn't uh, block the sunlight when I go to plant something deep in there. So I made another attachment to go on top of this one and this way we'll separate the wood chips a little bit further away and I'll show you that. So this is the attachment I made that goes on top. Uh, it's just a big, pretty much a big wedge and we'll push the wood chips further aside and this way it will give me more room uh, to work in the ground. Hopefully this will separate the wood chips nicely and give me about a uh, foot wide path on the ground on top of the soil so I can plant my winter ride down. So this is my first time trying it. Uh, I designed it. I Hopefully it works. It looks good on the blueprints, but I'll have to see if it really works or not. You can see here I went all the way down to the end about 300 feet and I turned the tractor around and came back and did the other side. Not too bad. I didn't want to go down too deep. Actually, I don't know how deep my wood chips are, but believe it or not, I think we're almost a foot deep, so I'm going to have to go down a little bit deeper. But I'm glad that we can uh, move those wood chips out of the way easily because it would be one heck of a job. I didn't make too much of a straight line in the beginning, but I got the hang of it later on. I had to look back too much. This is the row I came back on when I was at the end of the field and turned around. And you can see it did a really good job getting down there. Um, we're going to have to work on it one more time, but I'd rather be safe uh, the first time and not go too deep to know where my soil is. And then I'll go back and adjust it now and to see how deep it is in each area and then just keep on adjusting with my hydraulic lift. Here we are. We have all five rows complete and we're going to be adding our winter rye inside our rows and here's a good example I got down to the soil here you can see uh, it's about maybe say eight inches wide and we're going to be filling that up with seed right now 
I think the simplest and easiest way is that to do this is just we're going to apply it by hand and just sprinkle it right in on the top of the surface here and then we'll just rake it in. This is our winter rye seed we're going to be applying first. The best thing about this, it's going to start growing within the next, say, week or two. Uh, it can germinate about at a soil temperature about, say, 35 degrees. Also with the winter rye, you only need about 5 pounds for about 1,000 feet. Also, we're going to be adding our sunflower seeds. You want about two seeds every three feet. The further apart they are, the bigger the root system they get. So if you add sunflower seeds in and you put one every foot, they actually grow smaller roots. So you want to plant them about three feet apart. And I do two seeds in case one doesn't germinate. You can go back and always thin it out later. If you have two growing, you just snap one of them off. We just got done applying it by hand. And now you can see that it's there it's easy to apply. Now we're just going to scratch it in and make sure it germinates and get some soil seed contact. At this point you have an option. If you have some extra soil sitting around you can just throw it on top. It only needs about a half inch of soil on top for it to germinate. But we're just going to rake it in. I just want to put this important little side note in here. This is a front wheel cultivator and you can see that it has the same type of blade on it that I had on top of my tractor. Now this can separate the wood chips instead of using a rake, uh, which is not too bad uh, it's if you have a small garden, but if you have a larger garden and you're going to be raking aside all this area, uh, it takes some time. So maybe think about uh, purchasing one of these to make your life a little bit easier too. Uh, this way you can separate the wood chips and you can always go back and you know do a final touch up with the rake and the other thing I like to bring up um, what's easier to separate wood chips if you wish to is a leaf blower and obviously it can work well if you use leaves in your garden too as a mulch it really separates it nicely because really what you're doing is just blowing a path of wood chips aside or leaves aside to get down to your dirt and I'll demonstrate that for you This is the other attachment that comes with the front wheel cultivator. And you can see it's uh, tines on the back. I took the blade off and put the uh, tines on it. And I'm just going to go in that little ditch now and just kind of lightly rough up the top quarter inch and just get a little uh, rough soil so the seeds can sit in there when it rains and germinate. You can see where I just pushed about maybe a foot or two with the uh, tines on the back and it just rusts off the soil enough so the seed can get in there and that's all you have to do. You're not really destroying anything, you're not really hurting the soil food web at all. You're just making that soil to seed contact and it works very well. And now I'll just go down the row and finish up. It's not hard at all. Uh, to do 300 feet is going to take me about maybe say 5 or 10 minutes here. I wish to thank you for joining me on this beautiful day. Uh, I can't believe it's 70 degrees out in March already in the first week of March. Uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And please write if you have any questions at all. I just want everybody to have a good gardening season. Um, we're happy that we're starting this early and we're going to get through it together.